They manhandled the Gators 24 to 5. In the standings, the Gators sit in second place in the American League East Division. The Sem Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Blue Devils going up against the O's. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport, Hank Aaron. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. So just about set now, our starting pitcher in this one, Phil Negro, singing he is one of the best to ever do it. Yeah, Boogie's racked up over 3,000 strikeouts in his career, so expect to see more of the same in this one. Ready to go? And here's the veteran outfielder, David Justice. The right fielder, David Justice. And a pitch. That's a strike. And we are underway in game one of the series. First pitch, 7 06. And now it's even up. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. That's outside. Ball three. And he deals. There's a strike. Popped in the air, left field. Schwarber makes the catch, and there's one gone. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. And a big part of it, a guy with a great track record, David Justice. Well, Boog, I'm sure he hated to see the calendar turn. Hit over 400 last month, and that's the kind of momentum that you just want to continue into the next month. He's one of the hottest hitters in the game right now, and I can't wait to watch him swing it. And now, Kevin Euclid. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Hank tracks it down for the out. Batting third, the center fielder, Jim Edmonds. Two outs, space is empty. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Jim Edmonds. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. That one's in there, 0 and 1. On the ground, and that chance handled. On the run, throw to first, and that is that. We're midway in inning number one. On to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. Welcome back, and towing the slab here, Clark Schmidt. What do you look for here? Well, a very solid ERA last season, just a little over three, and when you've got a guy like that, uh, taking the mound for you. The offense is definitely expected to score you know, four runs at least unless they're really struggling. So you know more times than not when he's on the bump, you're going to win the ball game if you just do your part as an offense. So last year, great year. He wants to repeat that or even improve. And I think there is some room for improvement. He's got good stuff. It's just executing from hitter to hitter. Paul Molitor, the next to hit, takes ball one. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. He 
into center and a base hit. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Nico Horner. In the air right field, Justice settles under it. He makes the grab, and there's one down. Batting third. Take a look at the lineup. It features a great veteran presence, Paul Molitor. Now, this is a player that's, you know, hit over 300 for his career in terms of batting average. And being able to do that, that is extremely good bat-to-ball skills that he's had for a long time. He's just got a real consistent approach, uses all fields, and he's got a game plan when he comes to the plate. So let's just keep our eyes on him. I think it's pretty hard to take your eyes off of him. Hank Aaron stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Throw to first. One of the amazing things about Hank Aaron is the consistency he had over the course of his career. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Justice heads towards it. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two down. Batting four. The designated hitter, Edgar. Edgar Martinez now at the plate. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. And it's even up. Molitor off of first with two away. That misses the zone, and a count two and one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. The two on. Little chopper rolls foul. And here it comes. Fouls it back with two strikes. Check swing, tried to hold up, now an appeal to first. And ring him up, says Patrick Johnson. That's a strikeout. Scoreless after one. Back at Yankee Stadium, Leading all set the for the Blue start Devils. of the inning. Now the here is Austin Riley. Austin Riley. Necro back to work. Ball nope. one there. Ball. Ball one, no Right through there for a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. That misses. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Schwarber settles under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One away. Just pulled off of it a little that bit right hit. there. That front the shoulder captain. coming open instead of staying closed. Real if he real. does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left.
JT Real Muto singing has turned into arguably the top catcher in all of baseball. He's won multiple gold gloves, multiple silver sluggers, same story, multiple times an all-star. This guy is fun to watch. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. In the air, left side. Schwarber settles under it. Puts it away for the out. Batting fit. The left fielder. Gavin. Next to hit, Gavin Sheets, one of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. In there, and it's 0-1. Looks like he sacrificed to pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. And that one is lifted in the air. Damon drifts towards it. And that ends the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back in the Bronx. Now here is Johnny Damon. The center fielder. Johnny Damon. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Ball Just one. missed. And the 1 0 misses low. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Check swing went around and it's two and one. There's a strike. Yeah one of those umpires you just have to know what to expect right. Exactly. And a swing and a miss and now one away. That exists. So digging in, Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter. Jack Swing went around. 0 1. Oh, one. No score here in the second. And it's fouled away. Deal two. Up the middle. And it gets by him. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Runner on at first with one gone. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. And that one hit to first, and it goes just foul. Now remember, Kyle Schwarber grew up in Ohio, and so he got a chance to watch a lot of really good Cincinnati Reds teams. His favorite players growing up were Barry Larkin and Ken Griffey Jr. Move over to first, try to keep it close. Jeter at first, one gone. That's a little bit low. One and one. The pitch in the dirt, but kept close. Nice job behind the plate there.
And the right hander deals. And that's downstairs and outside. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. So one out with two aboard. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. There's a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. The 0 1. That's outside. And that one fouled off. And now it's one and two. Struck him out looking. No, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position in two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. And now it's William Contreras. He swings and fouls one off. On the ground, right side. Rogers throws the first. That's out number three. We'll move to the third with no score. Back at Yankee Stadium. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game at the play. Reese Hoskins. The pitch. Left field. And there's one away. So up next, Ernie Banks. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Ernie's hey. part of an exclusive club, one of just a handful of guys to win back-to-back -back MVP awards. Righty delivers. Yeah. That clips the corner. And those MVP awards for Banks in 1958 and 59 came on below 500 teams. Speaks to the level of his talent. Bounce to the left side. And that quickly two away. Batting none. The second baseman, Brendan Rogers. Now it's Brendan Rogers. Rogers starting up the middle at second, 26 years old, and he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. Pitches in for a strike, going one. Top of the third, no score. And a foul ball left side. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Stops it on a slide, gathers and throws. Oh, he throws it away. Uh, it's a dangerous throw for the first baseman to try to handle right there. Exposed him to a potential collision, and we've all seen some of the ugly ones over the years on plays similar to that one. So it's great. Nothing came out of that other than the throwing error. Now it's the right fielder, David Justice. Towards first. 
He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One error in the inning, but nothing more. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Bottom of the inning, and stepping in is the speedy Paul Molitor. The line of the pitch. Molitor in his 11th season hitting leadoff in today's game and he was a third round pick in 2023. Late swing fouled off. And a pitch. That's off the mark. It's a ball and two strikes. It's a good take. The one two keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Really protected with two strikes right there. Pitch wasn't even close, but man, he got the barrel to it somehow. Nice job of bad ball hitting. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Now the number two hitter, Nico Horner. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. count one and two with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here and that's in the dirt and the count is even two and two Molitor gets his lead at first nobody out to the right side and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No, he held up. Right-hander kicks deals. Got him. One away. Now the batter now, Hank Aaron. He's a guy who does it all. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Schmidt picks over. No, Molitor dives back in safely. Left field, way back there. That's back. And that is gone. up the home crowd and they throw a pair on the board it's two nothing well that one won't stay below the radar that made a lot of noise when a guy's got a real hard fastball you can't overswing. all you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot if you do he supplies the power and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there Now it's the D.H. Edgar Martinez. First offering misses the mark. Martinez, multi-time All-Star, more than 2,000 hits in his career, and he's usually a first baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. 
Ball. Next pitch is downstairs. Some people say that first baseman kind of have the day off regularly because they don't run around a whole lot. But when you think about it, they are involved in just about every single play, and there's a lot of stress that gets put on their legs. So a well-deserved day at the DH spot for him. Still only one out here in the inning. And a base hit right there. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. They pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So a man aboard. Here's the center fielder, Johnny Damon. His first at bat was a strikeout. That one missed. Fastball almost got him there. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Left-hand hitter waits. Ball three. Slapped foul. Left-hand batter waits. Grounder might be two. Fires to second for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Kevin Euclidus. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. On a line, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Next to hit, Jim Edmonds. Grounded out his first time up. Ground ball right side could be two. Fired to second on a Mount Castle. It's a double play. Austin Riley glide out his first time Four. off the mark there and that's ball one yeah, Austin out. Riley a guy that's turned into one of the young stars in the National League Chris he's got big time power the 1 0 foul ball there He's got power, and he's also been able to develop the glove defensively. Another guy that Ron Washington's helped go to the next level. Now he doesn't have to worry about making mistakes defensively, and he can have better at-bats because of it. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Now batting. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters... They take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. That one hooked foul.
you'll want. And that one is in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Riley off of first with two away. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Lifted in the air out to left. Schwarber puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that. I finally made up my mind to take a better stand. Concentrate in my balance, give life a better chance. I'm too involved in God, not television. Back in the Bronx, bottom of the fourth. Now it's the shortstop, Derek Jeter. The wind of the pitch. For you growing up oh, in right. New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt his shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at old Yankee Stadium. And fouled off. And a pitch. Aye. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. The first baseman. Nope. Two outs, bases empty. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. He's 0 for 1. Pitch misses. Ball one. Singing Ryan Mountcastle, a former first round pick by the Orioles in 2015. Here's the thing that gets me, though. He owns his own karaoke machine. And can I tell you, I've never done karaoke in my life. You got to try it sometime. Singy, what's your go-to karaoke song? Yeah, probably some song that'll cost us too much to mention in this broadcast. So now one and two. Oh, All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack oh, him in the box. Right Next pitch is outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Up the middle, Rodgers tosses to first, and that is that. Nothing across here this half. We played four. The O's have the advantage, two to nothing. Back here at the ballpark, and here is Gavin Sheets. Singing four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow, and I'll give you a free suit. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. He's 0 for 1. In the air, out towards left center. Two away. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two when I walked into the store the next now day, that, and he looked at me and said, you're trying 30. to put me out of business, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> and that was a great <laughs> great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York Banks hey. batting for the second time and that's strike one hey. 
Ripped on the ground a second. Tosses to first. And that will end the inning. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and here is William Contreras. Schmidt back to work. On the ground, right side, fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. Not in time, he's safe. Waste no time there. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. And now, Paul Molitor. In there for strike one. Contreras leads off second with nobody out. Line drive, base hit. Runner from second scores as they add on, and they lead by three. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Nico Horner getting ready to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. First pitch, just misses. Horner, a guy you think about with a strong baseball IQ, but just the overall smarts. He comes from an educational background. Both of his parents at one time taught at Stanford, and his mom currently is on the faculty at Cal. Next offering is in for a strike. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. The 1-1. One, one. Just missed. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. The count two and one. Fouled off. He was late. And the pitch. Roll to short. Could be two. Boots it. I think he just rushed that one. Great chance to turn two. And as an infielder on a play like that, I think guys can get a little excited and forget to make the play one step at a time. Could have been two outs. Instead, they get none. On the mound now, Vita Blue. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. So digging in, Hank Aaron. He's already homered here in this one. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. No outs, runners at first and second. Good eye right there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he does. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And gone! Another homer. And they tack on to their lead. It's 6-0. Exactly the pitch he was looking for, crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. 
Stepping in the long ball threat, Edgar Martinez. That misses. Ball one. Blue, the former Cy Young Award winner. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. Pitch misses there. Now 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. Hey. That's in there. Movement in the bullpen. Henesis Cabrera, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Loop warming up as well. The 2-1. Swings through that one out in front that time. Pitch misses, and now it's three and two. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch, keep the bat alive. Center field. Edmund settles under it. And there's one down. Now that the center fielder. And now the center fielder, Johnny Damon. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Kicks and deals. And that one got a piece of him. Fastball high and tight right there. A scary combo. I tell you what, everyone in the stadium looked like they felt like they needed to jump out of the way. I know I move. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. That's in for a strike. Real mutual throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Well, I'm sure that still will raise a couple of eyebrows because of this big lead, but I think it's more respect for their opponent, knowing that they've got to continue to add on if they're going to win this game. Don't take it as an offense. Take it as a sign of respect. Close one doesn't get the call. And one the and count one. even one and one. Line drive caught. Man, he really turned on that one. Absolutely ripped it towards no, third, no. but quick no bat like no. reflexes Kyle. down there at the hot corner to bring it down. Schwarber. Now, Kyle Schwarber. A strikeout and a walk. Chris Kyle Schwarber, a guy with prodigious power. He's made a couple of all-star teams, won a silver slugger, an Ohio kid who played his college ball at Indiana. He's one of the better power hitters in the sport. The lefty, the 1-0. -oh. Swing and a foul straight back. A special player and a special uh, just human being. And for many years, you and I, being around the Cubs could understand quickly after we met Schwarber why Jed Hoyer and Theo Epstein well, seemed out. like they would never part ways with him. Man, it's second. That's ball three. And the 3-1. Three three they say it went. We'll see another payoff pitch. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. 
Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. New inning getting started. And now here is Brendan Rodgers. Brendan Rodgers. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. All in one now. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Rogers around third. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. So up next, Kevin Euclid, one for two. Hey. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Justice stands at second with no outs. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Struck him out without a swing. He's got to be frustrated with that call. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expanded a little bit with two strikes. And now Jim Edmonds. First pitch, and he just misses. Now one and one. And a one one. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Justice coming home. Everything came together for him. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Man at first with one gone. Digging in, Austin Riley. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. You'll one. One of the things you look at with Austin Riley he was drafted in the first round of 2015. The Braves were one of the only teams looking at him as a position player. Most every other team wanted him as a pitcher, but Austin Riley hated pitching. Now a check swing at the 1 1. Look down to first, didn't go. The pitch. Strike two. two, two. Yeah. 
Foul tip into the mix. Struck him out. And now it now is JT that. Real Muto. JT. Known for his JT. rocket arm behind the plate. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. That's through there for a strike. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Orioles lead it six to two. Bottom of the six. Stepping in, Ryan Mountcastle. The first base is The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one. Just tough to catch up to. I mean, guys are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. But why the kick the pitch? Ground ball, Austin Riley. Over to first, oh. and a couple of quick outs. Now batting, third baseman, Paul Molitor. Paul Molitor will hit next. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Ball two. So two balls and no strikes. Two and oh. And that's in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. That one in for a strike, 2-2. Two and two. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Makes the play, and it's out number three. We go to the top of the seventh. Now the left fielder, Gavin Sheets. The Blue Devils in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Phil Bickford getting loose out there. Wilson getting cranked up as well. Swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And a foul ball. And the righty deals. On the ground to short, Jeter. Rolls across the diamond. One up, one down. 
Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. On the ground to the left, and that's just foul. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And now the shortstop, now Ernie Banks. Shortstop. Ernie Banks. He swings and misses oh at the first pitch. 0-1. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys... They'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Kicks and fires. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Seventh inning stretch time. The O's have the lead. 6-2. Back for more from the Bronx. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Nico Horner. The pitch. Ball, and that one just ball. misses. A ball and no strikes. Bullpen activity starting up now. Kyle Crick appears to be getting loose. Next offering is fouled back. And one and two. And he deals. That one is absolutely belted. Sheets raging back towards the wall. To the warning track, makes the catch. Trying to take on the wind in left field right there. Just a little too much traffic up in the air. Mother Nature won that one. It's hard to say, but I think that might be gone otherwise. Hank in the box with one away as he takes ball one. In the air, right field. Justice settles under it. And there's two down. Now batter, the designated hitter. And yeah, the batter now, Edgar Martinez. One for three. Right side, hard hit to first and Martinez is out third out and that ends the frame offense held a check there eighth inning coming up the Orioles out front here six to two welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth Phil Bickford and he's got a nice lead to work with so he should come in throwing strikes attacking these hitters Brendan Rodgers digs in now. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. 